as a Chinese living in the Netherlands, many things surprised me, you know, that Dutch people like to eat a kind of hachoslag. Okay, sorry, that's a very difficult word for me already. Kind of chocolate on the bread for adults. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and you don't discuss personal finance or how much you earn among the colleagues, right? So today I'm going to be brave, so I'm going to discuss here in front of all of you. But you know what? The most shocking thing that I got to know is if I would continue to live and work here, I may be retired at 70. Wow, that's a really different world. Give you a reference that my mother retired at 55 in China. So she's really enjoying her time. Wow, retirement at 70. So we got to do something. So I have a family here in the Netherlands, and we start saving and uh, make some plan and hope we can get closer to be a bit earlier to retire. So we put money in the stock market. Are we, all, are, are, are we alone? Of course not. So in the Netherlands, there are about 1.5 million households are engaged in stock trading. That's a lot. So many of you who sit here probably do the same. But very quickly, I feel it's very hard for me. You know what? I simply do not have time for it. As a mother of two, I have two boys, six and three, so that occupies really a lot of my time. And I need to work, I need to cook, and sleep, etc. Uh, oh, I also need to spend some time with my husband, so who is watching me now. <laughs> So that's very hard for me. And plus, the results. You need to look at your portfolio, right? So when it's very good, of course, you're very happy. And it's bad, mm, I don't really want to talk about this during the day. So not only me. So the professional world, the traders, they face the same challenge. They're not robots. They need to sleep. They need to eat. And they also have emotional difficulties. And that's very hard to overcome. So from the 70s, the companies who are engaged in trading, they are developing computer programs. So that's based on statistic models or mathematics. You can imagine how complex that is. So to replace the human being. So for doing so, they can get the people are much more efficient. So they are actually hiring more engineers nowadays than traders. So that's a very different world as you would imagine that the trader probably have a big bonus and sitting behind the computers. So automatic trading, that sounds fantastic. So that can solve my problem. But how does it work? I'm an engineer myself, and I work here in Vanlo in a startup technology company. We develop a lot of programs or AI solutions for company to solve their problem. So in the data world, I see stock trading is also a kind of data exercise, right? So there are a lot of data information you try to gather and try to make a good prediction, an educated one, and hopefully that is correct. So why not using AI to apply to stock trading? And that might be another domain that can really release its power. So first, I think, um, if you look at stock trading, so the data that you engage in there are two parts. So they are uh, financial data, so very obvious by its name, right? So that's historical prices, so the volume that trading on certain assets. Those are very relevant that you want to use model to simulate. And there are also non-financial ones. Actually, we see that more replicates the intuitions or the good trader they can gather and process. So for instance, we want to know probably their weather information can impact a certain company uh, outputs, or their sentiments that you call it a public mood or opinions that's also influenced the market. So how we can process those information? Before, that's not possible, or let's say very hard. But with AI technology, you can really process those non-financial data that really give us additional insights. And that's the power where it comes from. And second, we all know eh, we're being so brushed with the information or millions of pieces of information each day. So there are so many news, articles, you name it, you try to read and try to grab. But you don't know 
Some are relevant and some are irrelevant for us to figure out. So with our capacity, it's very limited. If you think about a professional trader, it's also very difficult for him. He needs to probably listen to some news and before his coffee break, and then he makes some judgments and try to make a good de decision. But with AI, it can process so much more than we can do ourselves. And it can tell us the correlations, so which are relevant and which are not. So the obvious one, I guess you all know, right? So if the weather's good, so the beer sells well, so the company who are managing or producing beers might be have a good results. But the very non-obvious ones, um, gave you an example. Before the crisis, the 2008, so there are a lot less women try to be pregnant. So that sounds how that comes. So actually, as a family, a very small business unit in a society, yeah, so they sense the financial pressure a lot more earlier or very sensitive compared with the public. So they make their decisions. So that's another insight. Without AI, without the data analytics, we wouldn't figure it out. And that's something we can really utilize to put it in our decision makings in stock as well. So there are also many others, right? You know that it kind of self-learning, so we know the cars are driving on its own and etc. So the stock trading is also has patterns, so the algorithm can really learn on it. So there are many more examples. However, you would say, wow, such magic. If I would be a millionaire, probably I don't talk about this in front of you right now, right? So it is a tool, it's a decision-making support system, but it's very open and accessible nowadays. It's really not a top secret. Why I'm saying so? That's based on my own experience. I really do some research on the internet. And the AI, they're based on programs which are open sourced. You can really download a lot of libraries or free codes, their trainings, their lessons, you name it. You can find it yourself. Of course, I'm not saying here, now you sit here after my talk of five minutes, you all become AI experts. But this is a technology which is far more accessible than the others you would imagine. What you need is really a computer and a really brain that you want to learn. Why I'm saying so, because we work here in a small company, right? And we learn a lot by ourselves. We can assess really the latest information, latest technology out there and for us to use. So we don't develop everything from scratch. We can really build it on a collaborative manner on a global level. That's how powerful and how transparent and accessible this technology it is. So, it's a great thing. And regardless you feel it or not, it's really embedded to our lives nowadays and also shaping the way how we live. As for me, I use a Siri on my phone sometimes to ask how the weather, that's quite convenient in the morning. Mm, just as the previous talk, right, you see the artificial intelligence can really identify the weeds from the fields, which we don't need to use some chemicals. And more to that, give you another example, the Chinese people, they use AI to help identify photos so the parents can find their missing child. So stock trading, I think it's a great domain, again, to apply this technology. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, in engage in uh, uh, investment or stock trading you will make you over rich, uh, overnight uh, rich, but it is really a tool, I think, to help me to reach my goal or probably some of you who share the same goal. What I want is really, in my 50s, I don't want anybody to tell me I need to work or not. I can have a choice on my own. So I can either still work, that's probably I enjoy it, or I can choose to become like my mother. So take care of grandkids, I hope one day I have one, or really enjoy my life. Thank you. <laughs>